Hi, this is Christian Vance, and in this tech tip, we're going to be looking at creative ways to use delays. And there's been many great uh, dance tracks and electronic tracks made over the years with very clever use of delays. Uh, and of course, the great history of dub music and reggae music using uh, delays to really, really great effect. The thing is, is in Ableton, you've got sends and your return channels, which can be used uh, in various ways. You can just drop and drag an effect on a return channel and push it up like this. But there are other, th other ways that you can incorporate different effects and feed them back in on themselves. So first of all, I'm going to play you the pattern, which is really, really simple rock disco house techno pattern. kick drum, hi-hat, and a clap. And what we're going to do first is on the return channel over here, we're going to drag a ping-pong delay, and we're going to drag also a limiter. Now, I'll explain the limiter later, but the delay is very basic. We'll just do some on the clap for the moment. Very simple delay on the third beat there. Now if we double click here, you can change the style and the algorithm that's used for the type of delay. And we're just gonna switch it to repitch, which is a little bit more vintage feel. And we're gonna put the wetness up to 100. The next thing we're going to do is on the other return channel, put another ping pong delay and another limiter. We'll turn the wetness up to 100%, but we'll just leave this one on a third of a beat and we'll go back to this one here and what we'll do is we'll take the sync off and turn the feedback up just a little bit and we're just going to listen again you can see me changing the time here and the great thing is about having it on the time it creates a really uh, really crazy sound and effect Here's the trick. We are going to go over to the sends on our return channels here. Double click enable all sends and enable all sends over here. Now what that means is if we send a signal via this send into here and then we send it to B, this signal to B, it will feed back in on itself and that's why we have the limiters. So let's turn the ceiling down to minus 6 dB on both of our limiters and that's basically so you don't blow your speakers or blow your eardrums in the process of creating a delay and we'll just take this down we'll have a listen to our delay again have a bit of a play get the maybe one it about there and we're going to feed it in to the next return. And as you can see, or here I should say, we are feeding different effects back into each other. And this is where it gets even more complicated, but more fun. We can send this back into here by using this and effectively create a loop, a feedback loop of our own effects. So let's have a listen. We'll turn this one back down. And that is one really, really interesting way to use delays because you've got various different controls on how to adjust them. So I would say we can group all them together. So select all of these here and group it together. Open up a macro. Let's map the macro. We can do oh, 
anything we want here. So basically, let's do the time first. That's the most important macro one. And let's then do the frequency to macro two. And we'll just give them a color so that we can remember what they are. And we'll do this one here. We can change. Let's group them together. And what we'll do is just change the frequency on this one. Just map it to macro one. And give it a color. And that makes it a little bit easier to control. And it doesn't just have to apply to the clap, we can also do it here. You can play around, you can assign different things, different uh, frequencies, different wetness, do whatever you like to do basically. But that is one way to create a really cool creative delay. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.